Hi everybody, this is Jason. Uh, I'm going to record a video tonight about the algebraic properties. There's five of them that are a big deal. And uh, this is something you would see kind of the, the beginning of an Algebra 2 class or maybe an Algebra 1 class. Um, so let's just get started. There, there's three big ones and two little ones. So the first one is the distributive property. Now the distributive property is what allows you to uh, take parentheses and uh, get rid of it if you have a coefficient up front. So, for example, to start out, if you have a times b plus c, um, the distributive property tells you that you can take the a times the b and the a times the c and end up with a b plus a c. Now, I prefer to do this with numbers instead of letters. I think that's a little bit easier to follow. So, let's say we have uh, 3 times 5 plus 2. Um, so the distributive property tells you that you can take the 3 times the 5 and the 3 times the 2 and get uh, well, 3 times 5 plus 3 times 2. And that would be 15 plus 6. And that's 21. And if you just want to check yourself, uh, this was 3 Five times five plus two is seven, so that would be twenty-one. Uh, the distributed property works if you have three items in here or more than three. It doesn't matter. All you do is you take the outside coefficient here, multiply it times everything inside the parentheses. So that's the first of the kind of big properties. Um, the next one is the commutative property. Uh, of addition and multiplication um, and uh, what this is so the word commute kind of sounds like uh, you would be moving so uh, that's what this is about it's about the order of addition and multiplication not mattering um, so just uh, to be uh, kind of conceptual at first a plus B plus C is equal to C plus B plus A or uh, A plus C plus B. It doesn't matter the order that you add. Uh, you still get the same thing. And the same goes for multiplying. A times B times C equals C times B times A um, and, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, to do this with actual numbers, let's just check it out. Uh, 5 plus 2 plus 4. That is uh, 7, and then plus 4 is 11. And uh, then if you wish to do maybe 4 plus 2 plus 5, 4 and 2 is 6, and then 6 plus 5 is still 11. And you can do this, you know, uh, 2 plus uh, 4 plus 5, that's 6, and that's still 11. So those obviously are all still the same. That's because of the community property of addition. Uh, and likewise, if you do 5, times 2 times 4, that's 10 times 4, it's 40. That's the same as 4 times 2 times 5, that's 8, and then 8 times 5 is still 40. So uh, something that is kind of common sense, but we've got a property that kind of tells us why we can do that. Uh, so that's called the commutative property of addition multiplication. <clears throat> uh, it's noteworthy to say that this does not work for subtraction or division. Uh, uh, just a, a, a bad example, I'm going to put a sad face here to just remind you that this is not true for, say, a subtraction. If I do 5 minus 2 minus 4, uh, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, and then maybe 4 minus 2 minus 5, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 5, negative 3, not equal um, so that's uh, only works for addition and, and uh, multiplication. So two down, the commutative property, the distributive property. Uh, the next one is going to be the uh, associative property. So the word associative sounds like associate. And uh, this is good for addition. And multiplication again. The associative property just talks about how if you um, group things a certain way, 
maybe a plus b plus c. That's the same as a plus b plus c. It just tells you you can group things any way you wish with addition and multiplication. Uh, just an example of numbers, 5 plus 2 plus 9 is going to be, uh, what's that, 7 plus 9 to 16. And then uh, uh, if you did 5 plus 2 plus 9, you always do parentheses first because of the order of operations. So this is 11, 5 plus 11, 16. So same thing, doesn't matter how you group them. Um, if you want to do this with multiplication, uh, it still works the same way. 5 times 2 times 9, that's 5 times 18, because that's 18 there. And 5 times 18 is 90. And then uh, 5 times 2 times 9, 10 times 9 is, is 90. So that is the associative property associate, think about how you group things together. Um, basically what we've said here is that the way you group things together when you add and multiply doesn't matter, and uh, the order that you add or multiply doesn't matter. Those, again, things that we probably already know, but it's just, uh, you know, this is a property that kind of makes that official. Uh, so those are the three big ones. There's two little ones next. Um, there's the uh, identity property. that just says if you take five and you add zero to it, you get five. And if you take five and you multiply it times one, you still get five. Um, the identity property just says if you add zero to a number, you still have that same number. If you multiply a number by one, you still have that same number. Uh, and then finally is the inverse property. And what that says is if you take 5 and you add to it negative 5, you get 0. If you add a, neg a number to its negative, it's always 0. And uh, then if you take 5 and multiply it times a fifth, you get 1. If you multiply a number times its reciprocal fraction, you get 1. So I want to just spend another minute or two in practice kind of putting these into action. Um, so I'm going to solve just kind of a basic equation. <clears throat> We're going to do uh, 2 times x plus 5 um, minus 4 equals 12. This is a, an equation that you might see in Algebra 1, maybe the beginning of Algebra 2. And uh, most people know what to do. You add 4 to both sides to cancel out that negative 4. Um, and uh, you have the option of maybe dividing by 2 or multiplying by a half or using the distributive property. Uh, so I'm going to just go through this, solve it, and show you which properties uh, do what steps or validate each step. Um, so first I want to get rid of this negative 4. Um, most teachers uh, will just tell you that you... You know, add 4 to both sides, or some they might say move the 4 over. And that's not really the, the right way to say it. <clears throat> By adding 4 to negative 4, this is the, um, uh, the inverse property. Because the inverse property says if you add a number to its negative, you get 0. So that's where you get 2 times x plus 5 equals 16. Um, at this point, I've got a choice. Uh, I could divide by 2. Uh, you know, that's probably what you know someone might choose to do. Uh, instead of dividing by 2, I'm going to just multiply both sides by 1 half. And the reason for doing that is um, uh, 2 times a half makes 1. And if you recall from my, uh, my inverse property, 5 times 1 fifth is 1, 2 times a half is 1. Um, so, this is another inverse property, and that gives me just x plus 5 equals 8, and then you can do minus 5 from both sides like we did again, that's another inverse property, and you have your x equals 3, 
And just kind of taking this from the middle step again, you know, one other option that you could have pursued would be uh, to do the distributed property. That would be, this is the distributed property, the very first one we did. And that gives you 2x plus 10 equals 16. And then you can do the inverse property here, like that. And you get 6. And then I'm going to multiply by a half again on both sides. So you get x equals 3. And uh, so this is the inverse property again. So I hope that helps out. Uh, the algebraic properties are uh, pretty pretty basic, but a really big deal because they, they basically give us license to do many of these sort of things that you you are used to doing. Um, so anyway, that'll wrap this up. I'm sorry I haven't been posting recently, but I really want to kind of get into it more. I started my own school and been busy and had stuff going on home. So, but I do want to get back into it, and and uh, I love hearing comments from my viewers and connecting with my viewers. Um, so please. Uh, keep the comments coming, and, and I love hearing from you guys. And uh, please let me know if there's any uh, specific topics that are coming up that I could do as a request. Uh, everybody have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.